Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. I'm happy to see each and every one of your faces. I hope you're happy to see mine. I hope you're having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that jazz. Uh, do please like, share, and subscribe. I like seeing your new faces here and I like uh, hearing your guys' comments about uh, whatever film I'm doing of the time. Uh, uh, next week I got some fun stuff lined up and I'm thinking about doing a theme week the week week after I think I'm going to do an 80s 80s slasher week or either a video nasty week I don't know what do you guys think I should do video nasties or 80s slashers yeah all right let me know okay on to today's freaking masterpiece it's uh, a very very good one it's very gross very gory one that uh, you will never ever 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 unsee there's things that there was a thing that happened in here that was so original and and cringy, uh, especially if you're a male. Uh, it does involve the uh, the male anatomy. Um, there's two parts with that involve the male anatomy, and both parts are pretty uh, pretty cringy. They made me uh, uh, squirm a little bit in my seat because I did not want to have those things happen to my my uh, junk. You know that just sound it just looked painful and and you know on paper it even sounds even rougher you know <clears throat> okay now this one's from 2008 i think i might have reviewed this before on, on a long time ago on my facebook stuff but now that i'm doing the youtube i'm going back through and i'm redoing all those uh better quality now uh uh making them a little more uh a, more, a little more available for everyone so they can always go back and check out the uh, the stuff that I've done that that I'm redoing, you know. I'm doing remakes. Oh, no. <laughs> and this one I think is, you know, if memory serves me. Uh, it's a, uh, a, a good one, though. But it starts, uh, this is not rated, and I'm surprised that it would, I would be surprised if it was because it's, it's definitely pretty brutal. Uh, it's running about an hour and 14 minutes. Um, it stars Net Detroit, Joe Olson, Kevin Barber, who's always great. I loved him in uh, uh, Bone Sickness. He was awesome. Yale Sanchez, she's a good looking gal. Ernest Hutcherson, um, I liked him. He's he was also good in Bone Sickness and. Uh, He's a regular on the uh, Brian Paulin list, along with uh, Kevin Barber and Richard Karen. Uh, Richard Karen, he pulls double duty on this one, or maybe triple, quadruple duty. He is uh, uh, having an acting part in it, and he is also doing some special effects work and, and whatever else behind the, the scenes that, that Mr. Brian Palin wanted him to do. So it sounded like, from what I watched on the special features, it looked like he was he was there to do whatever he needed to do and that's that's a that's really cool that uh he took his t uh his own time to to do something that is amazing as this and and that i know almost every gore file i know likes this movie um if you don't like it something is very very wrong i don't know it's 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 almost a perfect gore film because, as a matter of fact, it even says right away, it's a gore film. And it's, you know, uh, you guys, if you guys haven't figured it out by now, it is none other than Fetus. Yes, this is the Brian Paulin freaking masterpiece right here. Uh, the, only, uh, the only one of his films that I like more than this is uh, Bone Sickness. I am a huge, huge, huge fan of Bone Sickness. I think that is an amazing uh, zombie film for a newer one uh do please check that out i think that might be the one that i did the review on was bone sickness i can't remember um i do have almost his entire filmography i just need um uh, his first film i can't remember the name at, at dawn they sleep or something like that the vampire film he made i need to get a copy of that um very good stuff. Now, what is this one about? Um, it's about a guy that named Kevin, and his and he is uh, played by Brian Paulin, and he basically is him and his wife is pregnant. Starts right away with her giving birth. It's very, very gruesome and bloody. Um, 
the baby and the mother the mother dies and he is now uh, a very soul like he has lost his his will to live he is he is basically um empty he you know he is a sad destroyed wreck of a man he's a shell of a used up man you know it's it's uh it's sad i i can uh, as as somebody that has has a child and and going into something like that and losing your child and your and your spouse that would be very very hard to deal with um even if you guys don't get along with each other at that moment, you know, because uh, uh, babies are are there for for a reason. Um, they don't fix relationships, though. They can break relationships. Da -da 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 -da. Um, so he uh, uh, basically he goes and hooks up with this dude um, running a record store, <laughs> who is played by. Um, one of the cops, uh, I think it was Kevin Barber. Um, he is uh, he's running the record store, and he's got this r r long black hair, and it just kind of looks funny because I'm used to seeing him with short hair because he's also in Bone Sickness uh, and in um, a, a Cryptic Plasm, which is I liked that one as well. I thought that was a fun little little uh cryptid film you know that was i liked that nice little cryptzoology there um <clears throat> uh i don't know if he was in blood pics or not i can't remember i do know that um uh Richard Karen is is in Blood Pigs and he's one of the main leads in it and that's a fun movie. Um, my only problem with it is the is the whole transfer thing with it, but I can overlook it because I thought it was a uh, entertaining enough entertaining enough film for for me to not really complain too much. I mean, there were parts of it where it got a little a little annoying, but that's okay. I you know it's I. I liked it. All in all, I thought it was pretty fun. Now, um, when he meets this record store guy, he he's trying to find books on communicating with the dead because he wants to communicate with his dead wife. And and th you know, it's one of those things like, will it rekindle love? Will can he bring her back? Uh, if she comes back, will it be worth it? Uh, one of those type, like all of that, all the above type deals. Um, so he, he purchases the, this book that, that, um, is supposed to help him with it. He starts doing these insane rituals. Uh, one where he, um, uh, uh cuts, well, he, has Richard Karen or Kevin Karen or blah, 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 blah. Richard Karen? I had it right the first time around. Richard Karen is tied up to this uh, like pole or something. I forget exactly what he's tied up to, but he gets his head like plopped off with a uh, with a, a crowbar, which is really kind of it was crowbar or crowbar or tire iron. Uh, either way, um, it was it was fun. I believe it was a crowbar. Uh, it, it, it's cool. Like it's one of my like favorite deaths in the whole movie um and then there's this really sweet one where this guy's face is just completely just destroyed this person's face is just destroyed beyond belief it's very cool um it's all like split back and and it, it's 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 fun you know it's something that that i highly highly suggest um there's even uh what else do we got uh he bangs a corpse there's some necrophilia in here for you for you sickos that like the necro stuff <laughs> uh consider you know and i did lucker yesterday which is also a necro film i didn't realize i did two necro two films in a row that had had that uh uh, uh in 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 them although lucker that was the whole theme of it was about necrophilia this one it's not it's it's about bringing back his wife Okay, so he's doing these crazy rituals, killing off people. Uh, he does the necrophilia thing, and it basically makes a baby, uh, like, out comes these, these, like, baby fetus heads. Like, it's, it's really weird at that moment. Uh, it's, I don't know how to really describe it other than, than it felt like, 
I was watching a gore movie uh, on, like, if a gore movie had nightmares, this is what it would be. Like, it would be scary to a gore movie. Like, this is, this is stuff that, that uh, you will not forget. It, it is the stuff that nightmares are made of. Yeah. Um, and what else do we got? Uh, yeah, he's obsessed with it. Duh, 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 duh. Um, there's a really, really cool ending to this one. One that that uh, is just jaw dropping. Um, it involves the wife. Um, I'm just gonna let you know, like he he does speak with her, but that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but there is something else that is really just insanely cool about it um it was something that that i i think that it was the uh the perfect little ending you know it, it worked great uh good job brian paulin uh i love this film you know i can't wait to check out more of your stuff um i think what is it septic something like that is coming up next i hope um i think that was the name of it i can't remember my my brain uh, uh, gets forgetful sometimes <laughs> um that's why sometimes i kind of trail off again because i forget what i'm talking about you know it's one of those things you know i'm 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 corny um i'm i'm just old uh so let's get on to a to a rating here um on a technical side, it's got some great editing, um, some fun camera angles. Uh, the gore is over the top and top notch. The acting, you know, it's it is what it is. You know, I I'm not watching a Brian Paul Paulin film for Oscar Oscar award winning freaking acting. That's not that's not why I'm watching it. I'm watching for what the story is because the story is always fun. Um, and what is the uh, uh, what are the the what's the gore gonna bring? Because they're always a splatter fest, always. Um, so I'm gonna give this one a four on the technical side. It's nah, let's give it a three. One the one two one through five, it's gonna be a three there. Um, on it on a uh, entertainment side though, this is extremely entertaining. One that, like I said, I can't say it enough. Uh, you will never ever forget, um, especially the the uh, ending. It is just like I said, jaw dropping. So that I want to give a four on the entertainment side. It is very entertainment side on a one through five on the entertainment side of four. So combined that gets a seven out of ten. I think that's a pretty good score for this one. It's above above average. You know, it's not a perfect film by any means. But um, I don't think that there really is too many films that are perfect per se. It's just a matter of, of opinion, you know, on that one. I'm going to go ahead and put this masterpiece down. I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm at 13 minutes. I got some stuff to do tonight. i uh, got to get this uploaded, all that jazz, and, and uh, hang out with some peeps. Love your faces, as always. Peace.